How's it going everyone? It is me, the Lone Vault Wanderer, and during my recent research of Borderlands 3 news, I'd like to keep up to date, I'd like to know what's going on. There was something that was published on Metro.co.uk, and I'll link it in the description below. And initially I thought this was some sort of article from Metro itself. So when I first read this particular article, I was getting very heated, I was initially going to make a very emotional and passionate video, if you will, but I realized that this wasn't actually an article posted by Metro UK itself. It was essentially a fan letter that was sent into Metro. They do these cool fan inbox sessions where people can send in their letters with regards to gaming news and they'll have them published on the website, which is pretty cool. So because of that, and because this is just a fan of uh, games and Borderlands, I'm assuming anyways, I'm not going to get angry at this particular person. That would just be stupid and immature. But I do want to discuss what this person is actually speaking about, because it relates to Borderlands 3, and it expresses some opinions that I absolutely vehemently disagree with. And I want to put this out there just to, I guess, kind of hope no one else, and I don't think Borderlands fans would do this, but I kind of hope no one else are going to make these comparisons, are going to conclude with these particular opinions, because it would be troublesome if someone like Gearbox actually picked up on this and believed this is what people thought with regards to Borderlands 3 and what the fans want in terms of the franchise. Now, I don't speak for everyone else, but you'll see what I mean when I read this particular fan letter that I think it's pretty clear that most of Borderlands fans will disagree with this. So what did this particular person say? I'm going to read it verbatim, top to bottom, and we'll get into my thoughts. So this person, Firemon, says the following. And you know, all due respect to Firemon, he's expressing or she's expressing his or her opinion. So don't hate this person if you find them on Twitter or whatever it is. Just engage in discussion, all right? Let, let's not be immature about this. But this particular person said, with all the talk of Destiny 2 at the moment, it can only be a matter of time before Borderlands 3 is announced. Telltale even mentioned it when they were saying why they weren't doing another Tales from the Borderlands at the moment. I don't think there's ever been an explanation as to why it's taken so long, except maybe Gearbox saw how Destiny was eating their lunch, and realised that a third game was going to have to be massively different to compete. So I'm going to stop there, alright? I do not think that Gearbox kind of stalled production or development of Borderlands 3 because Destiny 2 was coming out later this month. I've made videos on this and I'm going to be linking them in the description below. If you look at Gearbox's work in the past, on their past titles, and also their current title with Battleborn, this year was always going to be much too early for us to have Borderlands 3. In fact, I predict, based on a bunch of evidence, that the game is probably going to be coming out sometime later next year, possibly early 2019. And that kind of fits nicely with how frequent Gearbox has developed titles in the past. So no, I don't believe that because Destiny 2 could have been eating their lunch, or, if you will, taking away from the audience of Borderlands 3, push Gearbox to stall for another year and change Borderlands 3 so it was different to Destiny 2. I just do not think that's true, but anyways, moving on. So the question is, will Borderlands 3 be a Destiny clone or will it do its own thing? Should it do its own thing? I think the one obvious thing I'd expect from it would be a massive open world, which is what the original was trying to do but was limited by technology. That'd be a one-up on Bungie. But I don't see how they're going to compete in terms of gunplay, which has never been their strong point and yet Bungie are basically gods at. One way around the problem could be to make it free to play. People forgive a lot when the game is free, and I get the feeling this is the way they'll try and go. Anything to force Bungie to make more effort is good. Firemon. So, <laughs> where to start with this? Okay, I'm going to start with the direct comparisons between Borderlands and Destiny as games first. I can kind of, to an extent, get where Firemon is going when he says that essentially Borderlands and Destiny are competing games. But, that being said, Borderlands and Call of Duty are competing games. Borderlands and Grand Theft Auto are competing games. They're all shooter games in that regard. When you look at Borderlands and Destiny, they're both online games where you can play with other friends. They're both first person shooters. They involve completing missions and that kind of stuff. So very loosely, there are some similarities between Borderlands and Destiny. But to be honest, in my opinion, those similarities are very, very skin deep, and the games at their core are fundamentally different. So when Firemon asks the question, will Borderlands 3 be a Destiny clone or will it do its own thing? I don't get where that's founded upon, in the sense that I don't know why the question is being asked in the first place. Like, just because in some small regards, Destiny and Borderlands are similar, why is the question being asked whether Borderlands 3 is going to be a Destiny clone? And on that Destiny clone bit, I want to say the following. Borderlands was a thing before Destiny. So if anything, Destiny was trying to copy off 
Borderlands. I'm not saying that it did, but if we were using that kind of logic, then Borderlands set the precedent and then Destiny came after that. But the follow-up question, should it do its own thing? Absolutely, it should do its own thing. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of Destiny 1, all right, I'll admit that right now, and I'm very well aware that the game has improved since launch, especially with the DLC. I saw some lukewarm reactions to the Destiny 2 beta, but regardless, whether you think the game is good or bad or whatever it is, it is very different to what Borderlands has always been. And just because the games share similarities in the sense that they're both online games, they're first person shooters, you play with friends, etc., I do not think that that's a good reason to justify asking whether it should do its own thing. And also, also as well implying like this post does that Borderlands should be making changes to try and differentiate itself from Destiny in some sort of way. Borderlands is Borderlands. It is its own thing. And in no circumstance, I don't believe, should Borderlands be trying to copy or take note or influence itself or indeed somehow trying to differentiate itself from, from Destiny. Maybe in some very small regards, maybe the gunplay is better in Destiny. I don't know whether I believe that, but I just don't think that there are areas that Borderlands needs to be taking influences from, from Destiny. What Gearbox should be doing with Borderlands is looking at Borderlands 2, because most people love that, and just improving upon the formula. Doing what you did great in Borderlands 2 and applying that on a grander scale with Borderlands 3. So whether it was the awesome characters, whether it was the awesome dialogue and jokes, whether it was the theme, whether it was the cool visuals, whether it was the questing or the mission structure, whether it was the character skill trees, whether it was the replayability, whether it was the gunplay or the weapons and the looting of weapons, and so on and so on and so on. Gearbox with Borderlands 3 should just be looking at improving on what Borderlands 2 did. And I guarantee you that'll make 99% of Borderlands fans happy. They do not want to see one of their favorite game franchises take big influences or take big instructions from a game like Destiny and indeed make big changes to try and distance yourself from a game like Destiny, which is very different in the first place. And also as well, that runs the risk of risking and losing the Borderlands formula and personality. And to be honest, just generally, Gearbox shouldn't be trying to one-up on Bungie with Destiny because it's a competitive game. Because firstly, Destiny is coming out in September, alright? It's coming out later this year. But Borderlands is probably coming out in late 2018 or early 2019. By that stage, no one's really going to be talking about Destiny 2. It'll probably have its core player base and that's it. So in that regard, I'm not even really seeing why Borderlands 3 should be considered as a direct competitor to Destiny 2. Maybe if they were being released in the same financial fiscal quarter. Maybe. But even then, I don't think it justifies trying to have this competition argument in the first place. The best way for Borderlands to compete with a game like Destiny, if you were to consider them to be direct competitors, is just to do what Borderlands does well, and fans will follow, trust me. And to touch on this, God, I have to touch on this. And again, I'm not trying to, to be angry to this particular person, but I do not want in any circumstance Borderlands 3 to become free to play. Absolutely not. That would be such a fundamental shift from what Borderlands has been, and it's a very silly rationale to justify that decision just to make your game different from a competitor like Destiny 2. Even if you consider Destiny 2 to be a strong competitor, making your game free to play when it has been a traditional retail release for so long, you know, you spend your $60, there's DLC, that is too great of a change for a Gearbox to be making, and it would essentially cannibalize Borderlands' own audience. We don't want that. We want Borderlands as we've always had it. And I guarantee you, if Borderlands tried to go free to play, it might gain another audience, but the vast majority of current Borderlands fans are going to be so disenfranchised and they're going to be wondering why on earth Gearbox would make such a decision. I know it's not going to happen. You know it's not going to happen, right? But we are responding to this particular person's idea that it could go free to play to get a one-up on Destiny. I don't know where this person got the feeling that this is the way that they'll try and go, but again, it comes back to their misconception, I guess, that because Borderlands and Destiny are similar-ish competitive games that Gearbox needs to make changes to try and one-up Destiny. In my opinion, that wouldn't be true even if the games were releasing on the same day, but they're releasing over a year apart. And again, you don't want to be making massive changes to a beloved franchise because Destiny 2 might take some of your player base. I just do not think it's true. I think it's unfounded. I respect this person's decision, but I fundamentally disagree in every single way. 
So anyways, Wastelanders, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, this has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. Please take care of yourself, and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight?